All right, so let's do... Okay, so that's hat, face, body, legs, and arms. Okay, so let's do glasses. I'm running out of colors, I'll do, uh, I'll do these again. Okay, so her glasses are kind of flat on the top and curved on the bottom. So, um, I would actually just uh, draw one lens along with part of the bridge. And, uh, you know, I wear glasses myself. And I, I don't, was it the nose piece? I don't know. I don't care. That little thingy bob. So I would do it like that, and then I would, uh, Now here's the trick. Okay, so when y you make a new layer and you mirror this over, you just want to shrink this down ever so slightly because uh, just because of perspective and whatnot, it needs to be a little shorter. So then what you do, take that birch over here. She looks a little bit like a Rarity from My Little Pony with those glasses. I'm sorry if you don't like My Little Pony. Sorry. Then I would just uh, plop them down. <gasps> I wouldn't move them though. Get back where you're supposed to be. Just like that. And then uh, I like to put a little like white line just to show that there's glass in the frame. and then uh, connect the arms to the part that is the arm connecty part. Yeah, I think that looks okay. Yeah, like I said, I think the hair actually looks really nice, so keep the hair. Alright, so now we're going to do uh, clothing. So, one sec, I'm just going to um, Clean this up a tad. I'm sorry that this is turning into a really long red line Tuesday. <laughs> I'll have all the parts up today though. I'm not doing much except for here on my my archives at my new website. I'm trying to unify all my what is that? That's arms. Legs. I'm trying to unify all my comics into one website. So I'm like switching hosts, leaving hosts, and oh my goodness, just so much going on right now. And no body. Okay, now I'm actually going to put a masking layer over my own work. <laughs> um, it's how complicated we're getting to draw the clothing. Okay, so this will be clothes. Okay, um, so real quick, let me see what outfit she's wearing. A square front. Okay, so let us get going here. Let's go back to... Oh gosh, I'm running out of colors. I need to get like a set of just primary colors on my palette just for this. Okay. One second. What are you doing, Shiloh? What time is it? It's 3.30 in the morning. Go lay down. Oh, goodness. Uh, <laughs> oh my, you can barely see that. I am so sorry. I just feel like the most unprofessional person today. So I guess actually... Square front will come down like this. Uh, you most likely wouldn't really see much of the brush. You might want to, like in your shading, just put a hint of boobage right there. Um, but you probably won't see much breastalines, as my mom would say. So. 
um, you when you uh, draw clothing on a human or any or any kind of cloth on a figure, what you're going to have is these. I'm not sure what the technical name is, but kind of like gathering points where there's going to be a lot more um, tension put over the fabric, um, where joints are and bends, and any place that you know the the clothing is taken from like its static you know sort of like off the hanger look so this is where you wanna do some sweet ass wrinkles and now she had sort of like gathered sleeves also what's this what is that that little thing right there I don't know what that is oops I drew it on that layer oops okay Sorry, it was, it's bothering me. I wanted to know what that was. So, uh, I always, uh, I used to be really scared of drawing clothes. I didn't get it, okay? I didn't get it. But clothing's pretty easy, um, without going into, like, an excessive wrinkle tutorial or anything. Uh, wrinkles are kind of like tubes that wrap around your character, like that. And what you do is you just kind of blend them down. And then by using like um, shading, those turn into wrinkles. And then they, you have other kinds that are kind of like, um, I drew, I draw this kind on a character called Rose in one of my comics. Uh, she she wears these big poofy sleeves on one of her outfits. On a lot of her outfits. I kind of like the way they look on her. Uh, but they have a gather point at the wrist. So um, they're kind of like these... I'm not sure what you call them. Um, sort of these curved pocketed wrinkles sort of like this. But there's, you know, there's uh, lots of different ways to draw wrinkles, and depending on what kind of fabric you're looking at, the wrinkles will look different. You know, at the crotch, which I can't do on this one because her, uh, her crotch isn't uh, exposed, you can't really see it, uh, you sort of get wrinkles like this and across, depending on which way they're moving. But like I said, without going into an excessive tutorial, this is basically how you add clothing uh, to a character. Um, so right across her front here would be another gather point. Okay, so this is something I'm going to harp on. You see this a lot in the, um, American comic books and stuff. Uh, when a woman is wearing just standard old off-the-rack, actually she's wearing anything like spandex or whatever, you shouldn't... Uh, let me draw a quick female torso here. The clothing will not go under the boob, <laughs> okay? You will not have boob pockets. We don't go out and get measured for boob pockets, all right? The most that you're going to get is, uh, and I think I just made this chick's boobs, so you're going to get something like this, where you can kind of see an indication of some sweet under boobage, but generally that's not how clothing works on the two days. So, no boob pockets, gentlemen. And ladies who are into them. So far as I know, there's no such thing as, like, boob pockets in clothing. I would be the first to know. <laughs> so no boob pockets. You just want to, like, kind of imply there's some breastolines going on in there. Same thing with the butt. There's no such thing as a butt pocket. So generally, you're not going to have too much of a division in the clothing. 
don't worry, I used to draw um, boot pockets until the cows come home. Came home, come home. Alright, let's see what kind of pants she's wearing. Oh, so they're like kind of like. Uh, Sort of like uh, leotard? Is that the right word? Stretchy pants. Hot pants. I'm not exactly a fashionista. Oops. A little wrinklage there, not much. And her feeties. Ah, yes, we're going to go over to Feedy Anatomies. Okay, so Feedy Anatomies, I know, are not clothing, but I'm just going to use the same layer. <laughs> Alright, so. Um, toes are kind of shaped from the side. They're sort of like this. They're sort of like curved upward. The nail would be like right there. Kinda. Again, this is not realism anatomy. This is more cartoony anatomy. Anime anatomy. I'm not sure. So you just want to sort of imply towage. That's a pinky toe. My pinky toe doesn't look like that. <laughs> I have a very deformed pinky toe. It's gross. It's so gross. I like don't even have a nail. It's weird. It's trippy as hell. Um, same goes over here. There's your curve. And there's the front. Curve front curve and front just like that sometimes if I make the lines too long or too deep I like to just go in and shape them up so a little personal confession here um, doing this has actually improved my anatomy a little bit uh, just sitting down and really having to think again about all my all my basics All right, so I actually, actually, I think this would, uh, sorry, actually, 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 I think this would come out like this, and that would be tucked in just a little more. Okay, but in general, also, don't, don't you know, if you want to, like, kind of move them around, like, you can see I, I drew a little bit of a gap right here between these two toes, you know, if you want to do stuff like that, go ahead, because I th toes are, like, really, they're messed up, like, toes freak me out, but, I mean, <laughs> It gives them character, in my opinion, if you draw them a little, like, moved around or whatever. Um, I'm trying to think, there was an artist who, he drew these, like, really expressive toes, and I'm, I can't think of who he was. <sighs> but he said a lot through his toes, his sick, deformed little digits. <laughs> Don't like them. <laughs> anyway, so, um, <laughs> so let's get rid of some of this. Uh, you know what, and since we're here, since we're doing little itty bitty anatomy, let's do, um, let's draw these fingers real quick. So, also a second confession to make, I actually recorded last week's, uh, Redline Tuesday and the audio glitched very badly and I have recorded about an hour's worth of dialogue. Um, however, I still have the file that I made the corrections on. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do, because uh, I feel bad to the person, you know, that I, I corrected, that I didn't put the video up, and uh, they didn't know. They still don't know. It's a mystery. But I, I feel bad. I put all this time into going over their work and whatever, and I feel like I kind of cheated them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do kind of like a Red Line Tuesday Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota, no, Minnesota, a little tiny mini episode where I'm, 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 uh, 
I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm going to go over the file and talk about the different little things because uh, I can still do that. It'll just be a shorter. Like I said, it'll be a, a minisode. And uh, I think um, that way they can s they'll still get the benefit of the corrections and uh, and you guys get to see it. I was a little unsure of uh, I actually maybe it's a little bit of a blessing in disguise at the end of the episode after I realized the audio had completely glitched on me. Um, I thought about it uh, the. F the image is actually fan art, which is not bad. I have nothing against fan art. However, I had uh, actual images from the show on display, and uh, I don't want to get a copyright strike while I'm trying to become a partnered YouTube member. So I, so maybe it was a blessing in disguise that the video didn't render out correctly and stuff. So. Um, yeah, so uh, again, if you want to send me fan art, it might be a little bit off because I will not be able to show ref uh, references from the original source. But I will try to make it as good as possible. Alrighty, so um, I'm going to say this one is pretty, uh, pretty good to go. I'm actually going to move some stuff to the front here. Um, I definitely think that this should be curved out a little bit. I don't know why I did that, but anyway. So, uh, you know, let me know what you think. If uh, I didn't hit on something that you would like me to go over. Actually, now that I'm looking at this, she seems really bottom heavy. Like, not like she's a big butt, but like her legs are too big. So, I'm actually gonna, um, I'm gonna make them a little smaller. First, I need to, uh, hey now, you're an all-star. By the way, this is how I do my sketches. They, they generally look kind of rainbowy and piecemeal until I'm completely done and satisfied with everything. Um, I don't know, I don't mind working like this. I don't mind working colorful and segmented. Some people might have issues with that. And to them I say, shut up! No. To them I say, <laughs> I say, if this method doesn't work for you, then don't use it. But hopefully you can get something out of my anatomy. Out of my butt anatomy. Yeah, I kind of gave her some art crumb proportions here. I apologize. Yeah, she still looks a little bit like long torso. Maybe her head's a little too small. To be honest, I could probably finagle around with this for a pretty decent amount of time and still not be happy with it. Yeah, I think that's looking... You know, that's kind of like in the ballpark. That's where we're headed towards. I still don't like her feet, though. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not your feet. Uh, original artist person. It's just me and feet. We we have issues, okay? I have some feet issues. Alrighty, I think that looks pretty good. You guys will let me know what you think. If I have gone way too off track, let me know. Yeah, I could probably spend about like 14 more hours just working on the legs alone, but I'm, like, I'm not going to. So hopefully there is something out of this you can...
take away from, um, I should probably flip this back to its original angle, which would be this. And, uh, alrighty, cool. I will, um, talk to you guys later. Enjoy the episodes, and doodles.